Okay, let's look at three problems that illustrate some of the very basic concepts of what we're doing here. The first one says, in how many ways can five people be lined up for a photo? This is a prototypical factorial problem. You're taking five distinct objects and you're looking at how many ways you can range them. That's five factorial ways. As you know, that means five times four times three times two times one. But it's also true that you have a factorial button on your calculator. We're using the Casio FX260. On that calculator, it's a shift three that produces the factorial. So you would enter the five, then you would press the shift key followed by the three key, and that will produce five times four times three times two times one, which is 120. So there are 120 ways that five people can be lined up for a photo. I'll also say that even though that's the easiest way to do it, there are other ways to think about it. You could also think, since you're taking distinct objects and, and uh, permuting them, you could think of this as a permutation. So this could also be thought of as a permutation of five people taking five at a time. And as we talked about earlier, any time the two numbers in a permutation are the same, it's really just the factorial of that single number. So you really would be better off doing it as a factorial, but I'm trying to show you the connections between these things that we've been working with. You could calculate that by hand, but we also have a button on the calculator that does permutations, and it is shift one. So you would enter the first number from the permutation, then you would do shift one, and just as the shift three key is what is what stands for is what produces the factorial the shift one key gives us the permutation it's the permutation of five things taken five at a time or some write it as capital P with the N and the R as subscripts either way that's pretty much irrelevant but since you're entering permutation you have to enter the first number and the second number so the second number goes there so you're going to do, put in a five then do shift one put in another five and since there are two numbers involved you have to press the equal sign the equal key to get it to do the calculation and if you do that you'll find out that you get the same answer of 120 as before and finally you could do it by the fundamental counting principle. You're simply filling five slots. You're choosing a person to stand in the first position, then you're choosing a person to stand in the second position, the third position, the fourth position, and the fifth position. So in the beginning, you can choose any of the five people. Well, the person can't stand in more than one place at the same time, so there are only four left for the second position then only three left to go in the third. There are only two possible people left for the fourth position, and by the time you get to the fifth position, you don't have any choice. And as we've seen above, five times four times three times two times one is 120. So no doubt, treating it as a factorial is the easiest way, the fastest way, the most efficient way to get the answer. But I did want to show you that there were two alternatives two alternative ways of solving the problem that will give you the same answer and they relate to things that we talked about earlier. It's always good to be able to tie things together that you're learning. Okay, let's look at the second problem. This problem says a designer has designed five different tops, four different pants, and six different jackets. How many different outfits, where an outfit consists of a single top, a pair of pants, and a jacket, how many outfits that are different can this model possibly wear? This is a prototypical fundamental counting principle problem. You're choosing three things. You're choosing tops, then you're choosing a pair of pants, and then you're choosing a jacket. So the number of ways
to choose a top times the number of ways to choose a pair of pants times the number of ways to choose a jacket is going to be the solution. Well there are five different tops so there are five different ways to choose a top. There are four different pants so there are four ways to do that and there are six different jackets so there are six different ways to do that. An outfit consists of one of each of those so by the fundamental counting principle there are five times four times six different ways. Now coincidentally that also comes out to be 120. That's just a that's the same answer as number one but that is a complete coincidence. So that's just a prototypical example of the fundamental counting principle. All right, let's do one more. This problem says a group of 12 musical notes is made into a 12-tone musical phrase consisting of 12 different notes. How many different phrases are possible? So you, you've got 12 different notes and phrases are different if they have a different ordering of those notes. So it's just like 12 people standing in line for a photo. So this is another prototypical example where a factorial is the easiest way to solve it. You've got 12 musical notes, same as 12 different people, and you're putting them in different orders to form different 12-note mus musical phrases. So again, that would be 12 times 11 counting all the way down to 1. That would be um, sort of a long calculation. So you probably would be better off, better served, to do it with a calculator. Remember, for the factorial, shift 3 on the Casio FX260. So you would enter the 12, then you do shift 3, which is the factorial. Shift 3 is the factorial and that will give you 12 factorial and it turns out that 12 factorial is actually a pretty big number it's 479 million 1600 so there's almost a half a million uh, excuse me uh, a half a billion ways that you could arrange those 12 musical notes so that's the easiest way to do it. I'm not going to go through this in every one of them, but you could also do it as a permutation of 12 things at 12 at a time. That would give you the exact same answer. I don't recommend thinking of it this way necessarily, but you could. And you could also use the fundamental counting principle, which would just say that you have 12 spots to fill. You can do choose any of the 12 notes for the first time, then you can choose 11, then 10, then 9, then 8, then 7, then 6, then 5, then 4, then 3, then 2, then 1. So the product of all those numbers is the answer. Again, it's very nice to be able to recognize that as 12 factorial, so you don't have to type in each of those numbers with the multiplication symbol between them. But if you did, you would get again 479 million 1,600 ways. So, two alternate ways to do it, but again, using the factorial is certainly the easiest and most straightforward.